call you before I lose service, like when I drive up to shoot, probably like right before we go in the mountains in Idaho. Love you. Quick flight from Santa Ana, Orange County to Oakland. Waiting on my bags. That's gotta be my bag. All right, it's game time. I'm loaded up. Brother picking me up. What's up? Heading up to Northern California. Oh, we are in Northern California. What the hell am I talking about? Heading up to Angel's camp. We're, We're in, in the, the bay. bay, bro. We're going to Kuyu, right? Yeah, next stop, Kuyu in Dixon. Gotta Starting get all camoed out. K-U-I-U. All right, we are in Dixon, California. When you are a redneck and it's your brother's birthday, you buy him camo. And we're at the best camo place possible is Kuyu. We're going on a hunting trip here. We need to get geared up. So we're gonna take a little visit to Kuyu. What do you That's think? Birthday present you can ask for. <laughs> That's if you're a redneck, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Only if it helps him sneak within 20 yards of an elk. I, I feel like I'm confident at 40. You confident at 40? Yeah. You've been sh you've been shooting good at 40. I've been nails for 40. Inch. Have you tried my crossbow? No. I can't wait, dude. All right, let's see what we can get. What'd you get, dude? It's like uh, shopping for women, man. <laughs> uh, I got some two pairs of pants, dope. some base layers, some jackets. Lined up. Oh, you got this too, huh? What is that? Oh yeah, I needed it. Oh, yeah. I asked him for it, but he didn't send it to me. Long johns. We're set. Hell yeah. Now where are we heading? Wanna go to Sportsman Warehouse? Yeah, let's do it. Freeze dried meals? Yeah. Next stop, Sportsman's Warehouse. We're in Lodi. We're slowly making our way up to Angel's Camp so we can pack up tonight. Gotta get some face camo and some meals and things to pack in for camp. A last couple of few things to get. This is my kind of shopping though. Oh, they're gonna dry in minutes. It's so hot. What do you think, cowboy? I don't know, I can't see him. <laughs> that might show me the stove hanging on there. <laughs> there it is up there. You gotta look real close. Grandpa Jack thinks that we're going to a camo convention where we're not going hunting. I think so. <laughs> he says, what the hell are these? <laughs> this is where all the toughness and badassness comes from, is this man right here. Papa Jack. Got these hooligans out here weighing out our packs. Got to wear, weigh out all our uh, camping gear, hunting clothes, our food. That goes on the horses, right? So uh, the pack frame's got to weigh the same for each horse, right? So each side of the horse so you don't wear them raw. This is what I like to call the handicap archery hunting. I had double shoulder surgery, so I uh, thought I was going to miss out on hunting season this year, archery. Um, but uh, my dad informed me that I was able to apply for a little handicap pass so I can still join the family and go hunting. And I'm using a crossbow this year. Thought it was going to be easier, but as you can see, it's got his own challenges as well. Alright, we're shooting arrow number one. 30 yards, going from the knee. And I'm gonna go bottom left, big target. Just a smidgen high. So Justin shooting at 40. I've been trying to make fun of him because he hasn't been shooting very well. Because I'm gonna be the one that gets the big bowl. Mm -hmm. You're watching. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let him shoot at the bulls first so you don't get to go home and watch the guy. <laughs> we already got this game plan. Juan's not gonna like that. Shoot, we're gonna go. You hear that, Juan? It's not my fault. My dad's trying to make me stay longer. Exactly. Well, we just like help. So I've been out. coaching Juan Archuleta. He's got a big title fight coming up. He's got a big fight September 28th, and I told him I'm going on a possible two-week hunting trip. Hopefully I get a kill faster so I can get back and coach him, hold mitts, make him comfortable, get ready for the fight. He's got a big fight for that Bellator tournament to win a million bucks. We did get a couple of waters to stay hydrated. <laughs> Just so we can have another beer. <laughs>
Nice 16 hour drive tomorrow. That's the trail we'll be hitting. Going around that mountain on the other side. Got the horses, packing them up. That's everything we're packing into camp. Me and dad are feeling nice and hungover. Yeah, I'm not sure who won the wrestling match last night. I think I, I think did. I, did. I think we have it on film, I so. Wrestle, so. You know, it's pretty sad when your dad's got 11 wrist surgeries and he's still beating your championship brother's ass. What? It's pretty, it's pretty embarrassing. What? This is, this is right now. day one of elk hunting. Ah. I think, I think Justin got all the bad stuff for me and good stuff for you. I tried to. Dad's got to get some wins on him. He's got plenty of wins, all right? <laughs> Took me my whole life to try to beat this guy, so. I got plenty of wins on this All right, I guess I got to do something. Put this down. All right, after my and Dad's epic wrestling match last night, feeling a little bit hungover. He says he was the winner, but I don't remember it, so it doesn't count. But <laughs> I don't remember it either, but I'm sure I won. <laughs> but, uh... We're hitting the trailhead, all packed up. I think I have as much weight on my back as the horses do. These guys are He's only carrying our beer. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the beer. I'm just the beer camel. But we're hitting the trail. Let's do this. So we just got the camp, or where we're setting camp up at. It's a long 10 miles. I'm out of shape. Fat Tyler needs to get back in shape. This pack. Put weight on it, crossbow, it's wearing me down. But now, with that, yeah, it doesn't help with the night before it was a late night with some tequila, so. Feeling it, that's for sure. Day two of camp, got in yesterday, took us all last night to set up. Didn't head out to hunt this morning because uh, we had a lot more in camp to set up. Right now we're making a gourmet meal of Macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. I know for sure that ain't Coach Cal approved, but that's hunting approved. That's uh, hazardous howl approved. Uh, but let me give you a tour of camp. We got our lean to that uh, Dad put up to keep all of our stuff uh, dry in case it rains. All of our food, so this is our pantry, our camo, everything important we need to keep dry, and keep away from the fire. Chef Justin, what are you cooking here? I got a nutritious meal of hot dogs and mac and cheese. Nothing better. We'll uh, probably eat some grass on the hillside to get our greenery, huh? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are making fun of me when I'm trying to pick out what we're going to eat and bring and try to be healthy. These are grass fed. And we did the shopping. These are grass fed. And then they did dogs. the shopping, so this is we lunch. Good old mac and cheese. Hunting, yeah. Making some tacos, or actually we're making more nachos now since our corn tortillas got broken up on the way in. But it'll be just as good, if not better. I don't know how they got broken unless they froze. I think they froze. They froze and they broke their shelf. Yeah, I think they froze. We put, them in that, we put them in the wrong ice box. But without getting a kid killed, today was a very successful uh, day. We saw what, six bulls? Five. Well, we. Five bulls for sure. The last one that, that went ran down, we weren't sure. Yeah, we I'm did. pretty sure I heard bulls fighting. Then that would have been seven. Seven, but we didn't see them. We same. didn't get to see those. We though. saw one elk running fast, but it was dark. And just we don't know if it was a bull or a cow. There's tons of elk in the area, and that we are going to have a successful trip as long as everything goes well. All right. Until tomorrow morning. Yeah, because what is it? 10 o'clock and we got to feed the horses. You feed the horses, shower, eat. Shower, make our lunches. Yeah. And be up and on the trail by 5 o'clock. All right. Woke up at 4.30, hit the mountain at 6. Had to feed the horses, get cameraed up. Dad had to put his beauty makeup on for all his makeup. Look at that view.
levels above us. We're about ready to work in. Wait for the wind to hopefully stay constant. It's five o'clock. Should start coming down canyon, so we've done enough waiting around. We're ready to go kill some. We got some bulls above us. People on both sides of this canyon. We're trying to get between them. It's too quiet to sneak on them. They're not already moving. The wind sucks. So I haven't done a video in the last two and a half days. It's been very long days, very busy. Getting back at dark, leaving at dark. Um, been eventful, it hasn't been a day that's gone by that I haven't been within 80 yards of a bull, so that's a success. You know, I've been seeing bulls out here and uh, you know, nothing will be like Tuesday's Friday. Nothing was like Tuesday though. Tuesday was just amazing, you know, and that's why I'm still kicking myself in the ass. And, rushing home and being in a hurry and stumbling across a big bull and not taking my time and uh, and being patient. You know, I feel like uh, patience is a, is a big part of being good at anything you want to do. If it's a sport or if it's bow hunting or whatever it may be, you got to learn to have patience. And I got too riled up, got too excited, and I feel like blew my chance. And so I'm hoping to learn from that mistake, but I haven't got that chance again. Um, Tuesday was promising. I thought for sure that I'd be able to get another chance, but haven't gotten one. Uh, but again, I've been I've been seeing bulls every day. Um, as a matter of fact, just this morning, um, we stumbled across a, a good good size. I don't know how big it was, but a pretty good sized bull, about 35, 30 yards out. Uh, my brother took a shot at him, and uh, he says he doesn't miss. He says he didn't miss. He says that uh, a tree jumped out in front of him and he hit a branch. But unfortunately, he missed a shot this morning. And um, thought for sure we'd be gutting and skinning them on the hill and heading into town today and uh, maybe finding some pancakes. But um, now we're still at it. Uh, we still got half the day in front of us. Um, taking a nice little run lunch break. I'm tired of eating this beef. I'd rather be eating some elk. But uh, hopefully later tonight. <sighs> there he is, Mr. Tree Hitter. <laughs> <laughs> He's wounded another tree. He's one inch too long. Clipped it tip of a lemon. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm saying farewell to these guys. I have to head off. I have to head into town and uh, get back. I got some uh, business stuff to handle and I got to help Juan Archuleta get ready for his title fight here in a couple weeks. But these guys are heading out for another day of search of the, the monster that me and Justin uh, shot thanks to our guide here, Dad. Monster 7 pointer. We're going to go track him down for the third straight day. We well, like the whole hill except for one little section. We're gonna check that section, then we're going over the ridges. We're we're gonna find this guy. We've non-stop searched for him, and we're not giving up yet. It's uh, too nice of a bull, and it's, it's not right to just give up. Just wounded respect. animal up there. Yeah. Well, I love you guys, and I'll see you when we get back into town. And good luck. And uh, make sure to send me a, a a satellite text. Well, a picture when you get back into service. We've had no service for two weeks, so. Alright guys, good luck. Love you. Finished finding all my stuff. There's a lot to go through. Take a shower. Then hit the 12 mile trail out here. Oh, I think it's 10 miles. I think it's more downhill this time too. So it should be right. Oh, these things are resilient. And it makes you feel bad when you wound an animal and you can't find him. You know, I'd, I'd rather not get an opportunity to shoot or even uh, a miss completely, right? Miss the shot completely, I don't even get the opportunity to shoot rather than wound him. Wounding is the worst thing could possibly happen for us as archery hunters. Um, I hate having one up on the hill and that's why 
we spent three days finding this guy. We don't want this to go to waste. And obviously he's a monster, right? But just the respect of uh, all the hard work we've put into it, we want to make sure that we can find our animal. Made it out of camp, got off the mountain, back to the trailhead, back to the trucks. Uh, came out by myself today. I've been hunting for 10 days, been 10 long, long days. But I gotta get back to business. I gotta get back to help Juan Archuleta win a world title. I'm coaching him in this, this fight camp, so I can only be gone so long. I got clean juice stuff I gotta do. I got some of the business things I gotta, can't be out there for two weeks. My brother and my dad are still on the mountain. Um, a little jealous that I'm leaving empty handed right now. But yeah just had a, had a great time so it's time to get back to reality and uh win a world title Juan Archuleta we're, we're coming for that belt and uh I'll see you tomorrow hi man 10 days in the mountains came down come down and it uh works out met some uh new friends at the bar Tim here helped me out put me on a bowl Josh calling him in perfectly, like seriously right on top of me, man. It was crazy. Uh, called him in like 30 yards from me, gave him a couple cow calls. He came running out of the bushes. Uh, was uh, very interested in what was going on. But now the fun begins. Got to gut him and get him in. Get him to the butcher. Got some meat to put in that deep freezer. So if I need moving back from Colorado to California, I got all my meat. So this is much needed. Look at that beauty. Man, he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> weigh him. Yeah, they're gonna weigh him out. 525. You weighed 525 pounds? Nice. nice. Man, what a trip. I'm exhausted. Um, 10 long days of hunting, 120 miles hiked, anywhere from 75 to 10,000 feet elevation. Let's say on average, I probably climbed like four feet or 4,000 feet of elevation every day. You know, on average about 12 miles a day so you know waking up 4 30 in the morning leaving at dark getting back at dark um, long days took a lot of work to harvest an animal but i got it done um, and that's what makes hunting so great um, the situation of this one was uh pretty crazy um, we drive to idaho meet my dad my brother uh, meet some locals at a, a bar's restaurant that uh, recognized me and asked why we we're in town and Said so like, oh, well, wish you, I wish I knew you were coming elk hunting. I got some property I'd love for you to go hunting on. Um, and so I always held that in the back of my head. I was out there in the, in the mountains hiking my ass off and, and doing it. That's what I love to do. I love being out there. I love having no cell service for 10 days. No one get a hold of me. Um, no one to answer any emails. I get to escape. I just hang out with my brother and my dad. Quite amazing. Quite awesome time. And just how great the hunting was. We came into tons of bulls um, we and my brother and my dad are still up there right now looking for the looking for the bull that we wounded um, I think he's dead I'm hoping they find him because he's a giant bull but I came off the mountain and uh, decided to hit up my new friends which Tim Doug Josh Jeff thank you guys you guys are awesome such cool great people um, really helped make my trip a success overall at the end, you know. I mean, it would have been a success no matter what. Even leaving the mountain with nothing would have been great. I had such a good time. Um, worked my ass off, you know. I probably lost like a good 10 pounds being there. Uh, I feel like I'm in fight shape right now. Um, but again, came off the mountain and uh, last day, I'm dry now, I'm driving back from Idaho to California, came off the mountain. Um, last night, got a motel room. Um, hit up, hit up my buddy, my new buddy Tim, and uh, went out on his property and uh, started calling, trying to call to see if there's anything out there. I knew I had a short amount of time, so we had to make something work. Um, I was willing to shoot a cow because I have a, you know, a bull or a cow tag. The cow is a female, the bull is a male, um, and so I was going to take anything. I needed meat. Moving from uh, Colorado to California, I had to get get rid of all the meat I had left, so I need to fill that deep freezer and. Got the job done. Um, but anyways, we started calling, got some bugles back, and some very nice 7x7 seven seven came charging. I mean, he looked like he was gonna run me over. He, he came out of the bushes, came 30 yards out from me. Um, I had to range find him, he kinda like staring at me. Good thing I had that Kuyu camo on because he couldn't see me. Um, and decided to 
my, my, the Josh was doing the calling, so he decided to turn sideways and go around to see the cow call and where it was coming from. And as he turned broadside, when we had some bushes, I made an awesome shot through the bushes um, and dropped him. You know, a great shot, hit some vitals, ran about 150 yards and died. So um, that was a very relieving and satisfying thing, knowing that uh, didn't suffer at all, got him, especially since we searched our butt off for two, three days looking for the other guy. Um, so it's nice to know that we got a very ethical kill. Work my butt off makes you really appreciate hunting. I hope you guys can kind of understand everything that goes into this from the practicing to the packing to, um, you know, working my ass off and hiking and making meals and just everything that goes in. It's like so much work. It's insane. Like if people knew how much work went into hunting, there wouldn't be so much hate. Went on about it. So, uh, harvesting your own animal, eating your own animal that you've harvested is there's nothing like it. I feel like when you put that meat on the table, or if you have friends over and you know it's the elk that you killed, it just goes a lot further, means a lot more, um, rather than just slaughtering an animal that lives in a box. You know, so all you guys that want to talk crap about hunting, you have no idea how much better it actually is. So, um, until the next adventure. My next episode, so long. So this is basically how we grew up when we were younger. Oh my god, this is awesome. He gets the benefit of the doubt because he had the 11, 11, 11 soldier shooters. I'm serious. I'm serious. Hey Dan, I think he's serious. Hey Dan, I think he's serious.